So hi guys, it's Monica. I thought I would do a quick video update on diet. You know, uh, oftentimes I think when we start a diet program or a lifestyle change, there are things that can derail you. Super easy to be derailed. And then it's so hard to get back on track once you are derailed. And so I knew, I had started my, my lifestyle change quite a while ago, and I haven't lost a tremendous amount of, of weight, uh, you know, close to 50 pounds, up and down, you know, a pound or two, depending on the scale. But what I have lost a lot is inches. I've lost more inches than I have pounds. And the inches, I think, visually look... Um, make you look better obviously you fit your clothes better and all that stuff so i'm not i'm not a, i'm not a slave to the scale i am changing my lifestyle and i have been doing that it'll be two years this november so it hasn't been an overnight journey for me it's been a, a reset of my mindset it's been a reset of my habits and it's just overall been focusing on trying to get healthy, get to a healthier body weight because of medical issues that have happened, high stress issues that have happened. And oftentimes as women, we, we take on the world sometimes. We take on everyone else's issues and feelings. And we also feel that we have to solve it and be, be the person that makes it all right. And sometimes you can't do that. So Focusing on yourself, loving yourself, making sure that you do love yourself and you respect yourself it has to take priority because if you're not loving yourself, how can you love anyone else and how can you, how can you be, um, be good for them? So I, I came to that mindset, to that reset, as many of you know that have watched my videos, it's been a long, long process, slow process. And I was kind of worried that when we would go to Europe that I would be totally derailed because vacations can do that to you. You can get into the vacation mode and, you know, and uh, eat, eat, eat and be merry, merry, merry and maybe, you know, maybe not exercise or do what you should be doing. So we spent 19 days in Europe and um, I knew that it was going to be a pretty active trip. I knew that we were not going to be lounging around lounge chairs, although I did think when we left home we were going to be going on a cruise, a river cruise, and that there would be some lounging around because there would be some times when we would be sailing all day. And so um, I figured, you know, and also the food and all the booze and whatever was all included in our trip. So I was a little bit worried about that. But I knew also that I had a pretty strong um, motivation and I've got a pretty strong willpower when I, when I make my mind up to do something. And I made my mind up to enjoy my vacation to the best as possible. And if I indulge, I indulge, just get back on track. And, uh, and that was the attitude. So if I really wanted to have a, a drink, I actually had two beers and I'm not a beer drinker, but we were in Germany and we were in, um, you know, uh, well, we were basically all over Germany, Amsterdam for uh, a number of days, and then we were in Switzerland, and we it was more of off the beaten path type of a trip. Nothing was uh, formal tours or anything like that. And I'm surprised we were able to pull off what we did at 70, basically. I mean, we took train journeys that we've never done train journeys here in New Hampshire, you know what I mean? So we navigated in my opinion, complex train systems. But anyways, um, everything was there in place for me to really mess up badly. And I had, you know, bought a number of new clothes, travel type clothes and clothes that were a smaller size because as I looked at the clothes that I was wearing, they were falling off of me and they just looked sloppy because they were so big. So I put together bags of Goodwill stuff and I just said I'm going to buy new clothes and I'm going to get rid of all the other clothes. And um, But my focus was to buy clothes that I could travel with because we were doing carry-on. And that's a whole other story, but I've got videos on that. But anyways, um, I was determined I was not going to let 
this trip mess up my diet too badly. And then um, once we once the trip changed very abruptly for us, we didn't do the cruise and um, we did other things instead. So we lost that whole week of the cruise where I thought we would maybe be bad because we'd have a lot of days of sailing. Um, we didn't have that. So we had a lot of days where on average we walked uh, 20,000 steps, sometimes more. And from early in the morning to late at night, we met up with family. We did a lot of walking cobblestone streets, little tiny streets. Um, we did, uh, in Amsterdam, we did do canal trips a lot on the water, and that was really nice. But still, you know, so much walking. And of course, then you stop at a pub, Jay would have a beer. Um, I could, I had... I had some fabulous desserts and I, I'm fine with that. But I also knew that there would be a point where I would have to stop eating or drinking or whatever I was doing, that I was having too much and that whatever activity I was, going, was doing would not offset it. So my Apple Watch was a lifesaver. It's been, it's been my, uh, my exercise buddy, right? It's been my motivation because I look at it, it tells me, you know, where I'm at. And so I know that I've got to monitor what goes in my mouth and I need to monitor the energy I put out. Now, I never went to a gym. I, we didn't swim because my husband and I would have been swimming an hour a day in most cases. Um, exercise swimming, lap swimming. And we didn't do any of that uh, while we were there. It was just mainly walking and climbing in some cases. We went to where the vineyards were, the grape, uh, grapes, and we had to climb all the way up. Um, so surprisingly enough, with after all of that activity and the alcohol that I had, the spritzers or whatever you call them, and the desserts, which I really think instead of having dinner, I'm going to start just having dessert because <laughs> I like that. But anyways, calories in, calories out. And I know it's not quite as simple as that because you also want to have good calories, not all junk calories. And uh, as many, you know, natural um supplements if you want to call it that you know natural food and trying to stay away from overly processed stuff although you know there are things that i do like i drink my celsius uh, Marlene fab and glam turned me on to this a year ago now almost and um, i love this stuff now it's got caffeine in it it's probably not the best thing in the world um, but it's my indulgence i drink one cup of coffee and i drink one can of celsius a day uh, does it burn fat? You know what? I think it does. <laughs> I think it does. I, I also use the, I don't have it with me here, the colon uh, broom. And that's that powder. Um, works really good. It is high fiber. It can help keep me regular. I also drink some trace minerals. Um, I'll link it in the video. I drink, um, I drink that every day. Um, and, I, and that also helps keep me regular as far as bathroom trips if you need to know so there are and I do take certain vitamins and supplements and when I go in November next week actually I'm going well I don't know if you're going to see this you'll probably see this after I go but I'm going to the doctors for my yearly checkup and he will probably do blood tests probably do a whole bunch of different things and then the following week I'm going for my mammogram for my because um, I had two lumbectomies now, and so I'm going to go there, and then I'm going to follow up with my surgeon and um, my oncologist the following week. So November is going to be busy doctor's week, but I'll be curious to see what I weigh on the scale, um, because, you know, obviously you typically weigh more at the doctor's office than you do at home. I weigh myself naked in the morning. I'm not going to be naked at the doctor's office, but um, so... You know, I, I'm really happy because I came home from Europe and I was about three pounds lighter. And that might not be a whole lot, but I thought for sure I'd be heavier um, because of what I was eating. But I, I knew that I w was having a good amount of activity. So um, vacations don't have to derail you. Your common sense has to kick in. And the fact that you love yourself enough to say no 
right? No, I'm not going to have that. Or I'm going to walk a little bit longer, or I'm going to go ahead and do some squats or, you know, um, crunches or whatever that you want to do. You know, I, I'm always moving and um, the Apple Watch certainly helps. So vacations don't have to be a diet killer or a lifestyle disruptor completely. It can disrupt your normal routine for sure, but it doesn't have to completely do that. So I've been home for, what, two weeks, three weeks now, and I'm back on track. Um, we, we hit the pool up um, as often as we can. Now there are times lately because the weekends they have the kids coming in for um, the swim school lessons, we, we don't go. But uh, in general, we'll go, we go for an hour. Um, I burn between 700 and 800 active calories in that time frame, and I'm doing all sorts of stuff in the water. I'm swimming, I'm doing all sorts of stuff. Um, and then other times I go to you know, the gym here that we have, and I'll go on the elliptical, or I'll go on the treadmill, and I'll do some weights. I want to incorporate more weights. I think I'm ready for that. So I've been not doing a whole lot of free weights at all, but I've been doing some of the machines with the weights, you know, and trying to, trying to really do that. Um, and I know too that the muscle will take up less room, but will be heavier than the fat. So I'm not, like I said, um, a slave, but I figure a slave to the scale, I should say, but I figure at 70, um, it is for sure how to lose weight, I think. I think if I was 40, I would have been able to do what I've done in two years. I would have been able to probably do that in six months if I was 40. But at 70, I can't. I, d I just can't. So, uh, however, I'm... I'm super happy with where I'm at. Um, I still, like, I bought a pair of pants, and uh, it's funny, I bought one pair of pants and I bought a medium, and they fit wonderful. Then I bought another pair of pants, and I bought a large, and they fit good. I'm like, okay. Um, so it all depends on the style, of course, and then, so I bought a pair of pants, and I bought, it, it was a size large, and they were just way too big. So I I'm still trying to figure out what size I'm at. Most of the time when I buy a top, I'm gonna to buy a large. I'm broad shouldered. Um, you know, I've, I've got big shoulders. So, however, I have some tops that are looser that are a medium, you know? And, um, you know, yeah, we'll see. I have been looking at some dresses online because we are going on a cruise. This has been a planned cruise for, for a while. We're going to um, Alaska. And I wanted to have a, not a dressy dress, but a travel type dress that I could accessor, you know, put accessories on, like maybe a different necklace or whatever, and, and wear it to a dinner on the ship when you, when you have to dress up a little bit better. And so I've been looking at that, and I found a number of them I love online, but I'm, I'm scared of the size. So I don't know what size to buy. <laughs> Especially if it's an Amazon dress, you know, those are like, you might as well buy, you know, something, you know, way, way big because they're so small usually. But I want to do that and I also want to get a better pair of um, sandals type thing that for travel. See, I'm thinking travel. But, um, yeah, so diet, yeah. Have fun. You know, alternate lifestyle you can do it it doesn't matter how old you are it doesn't matter if you're super healthy talk to your doctor if you are unhealthy obviously um, but it doesn't matter if you're not super healthy i should say but talk to your doctor get guidance and all that and start slowly and i just for me it's move i i just need to move I need to take an extra step. I need to walk a little faster. I need to do more squats. I need to move. The more I move, the better I feel and the less stress I am thinking or even feeling at all. I think it helps my stress level to move. And certainly it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable if I'm eating. I'm not gonna worry about it as much because I'm active and the more muscle I have, I believe too that the more calories it'll burn. So 
Yeah, wish me luck on my weightlifting endeavor. But I don't know. I would love to. Um, I would love to lose ten more pounds, and um, I don't know that how. I don't know if I can pull that off. But I would love to, because I think if I lost ten more pounds, I would probably easily be in a size ten for pants instead of twelves. Um, or maybe eights. I don't know. I've never really been in an eight. I'm big boned. I'm five. Well, now I'm five, five. Apparently I always thought it was five, six, but I've always been big boned. And, um, so yeah, I don't know. I'd like to lose 10 more pounds though. And, and, um, that's my, my goal is mainly to lose a little, but not gain, you know, and stay active because that's going to keep me younger. Um, I don't feel 70. I don't think I really look 70. I don't think I act 70. And it, it's, it's a mindset, you know. Uh, I had an awesome vacation. We did a lot of stuff that I can't believe at 70 we did, you know. Um, we just did a whole lot of stuff. And we had fun together. We enjoyed our trip and everything. And I think I, I think it, it comes down to the willpower, the mindset, and just moving, breathing, and enjoying life. Doing what you can do every single day and not giving up. You know, not giving up. Just say it. You had a little bit too much yesterday. Move a little bit more now type of thing. Makes a big difference for me. So anyways, um, that's my, my update on my diet at 70. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be 71 in February. Holy moly. I'm closer to 71 than 70. That's scary. <laughs> Anyways, wish me luck and let's hope that 10 pounds comes off eventually. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.